The island is a microcosm. It's really a microcosm of scenery, weather and life. It's this great and varied mix which really suits me and the way I work and my life. The isolation is another good feature of the island and this is really well suited to my world of watchmaking which is very individual. I remember sitting in the classroom just daydreaming not really understanding why I was there or what was the point of it. It wasn't until I left school and was pointed in the direction of this horological course by my father that I realised that this is what education is for. And suddenly I remember my first day on this course and I was just completely engaged and I've never stopped since. This 100% focus on horology has been everything that I've ever known in horology or in my working life. That first day for me was a turning point in my life. And that first day was the best day of education that I'd ever had and has shaped my life from that day forward. Whilst as a student at college, people were bringing watches every day and talking about them. And one guy brought in this Amiga movement which really impressed me. It was a time only piece and the movement inside was a 30mm caliber, which was so robust, so strong, and visually it stood out from any other watch which was of that era. The biggest moment was obviously when I met George Daniels. Well, he opened my eyes to watchmaking, where one man will sit down and design a mechanical watch from start to finish. My watches contain the Daniels coaxial escapement, which has been adopted by Amiga. Obviously this was a natural choice due to my experience of working with the inventor, George Daniels. And over the years I've developed the escapement in my workshop. I now look at escapements not only as being timekeeping devices, but also devices which can really improve the longevity of the mechanism which they sit within. Watch collecting for me disappeared for many years, but I started to regain an interest and I had a little bit of spare money in my pocket. And again, fascinated by this period back in the 1960s with these wonderful calibre 321s that were around, that I decided to buy a Seamaster wristwatch. The main focus is horology. That's the real focus of my work and I'm designing watches which house a coaxial escapement, which is the world's most efficient escapement on the market today, with a view to creating pieces which will run and run and run for generations and many, many generations to come.